What up peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. We are back at the store once again. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I know we did. Um, so, Abby's here with me today and Josh may be coming if it gets really, really busy. Otherwise, I just told him to, you know, he could stay home today. Um, if it does end up being ridiculously busy, which I, I don't expect it to, then, you know, can give him a call. But um, we are expecting it to be fairly busy, at least. Um, we think that there's gonna be a lot of people who are coming in who got systems for Christmas and they wanna get extra controllers or they wanna get new games or whatever it is. We're also kind of expecting a few people to come in wanting to return stuff. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't really happen. But uh, I'm gonna go through and I think take down the this Christmas stuff. We didn't have too much up, but Christmas is over now. So it's time to move on to New Year's decorations. Did you Do you have any, Abby? No New Year's decorations? Well, I guess we won't decorate again until next Christmas. <laughs> So hopefully it's going to be a good day. So let's just jump into it. So Abby just left to go and get us some lunch. And uh, Josh actually went to the outlet this morning, day after Christmas. And I guess he was already in the area. So they had decided to stop. And he found some really, really awesome stuff that he brought here and traded in. So we're going to take a look now at the stuff that's in there, um, the stuff that's in there. There's some cables and controllers, but there's a lot of really, really good titles, which you might find one or two at the outlet, but usually not in a big bunch like this. So it's pretty cool. Let's take a look. So here is the bag. So there's also some not so good titles. He picked up this disc only Harley Davidson game. Gears of War Judgment. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Mech Assault. New Super Mario Bros. 2. It's actually in there. And Fight Night Round 2. Some of these I would have passed on, but still okay. Final Fantasy for the PSP. And then Star Ocean, First Departure, Resident Evil Origins Collection, Bloodborne. Somebody was just asking for this the other day. Xenosaga Episode 1, Xenosaga Episode 2, Sly 2 Band of Thieves, and Baroque. No manual on that one. And then also Tony Hawk for N64. Then there's a 360 controller, a nunchuck. Um, PS2 Slam power cable, both cables for a Model 1 Genesis, and then also a Model 3 Genesis power cable. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I think we might have shown it, but uh, there was also Mario Party 2 that uh, we got in the mail uh, a few days ago. So we're going to be going through this stuff here, get this into the inventory. We're going to try and stay caught up on inventory like we are right now as much as possible. So uh, while Abby's gone, I just, you know, I just finished editing uh, the Christmas vlog from yesterday. So that's exporting right now. So I'm going to start entering this stuff into the spreadsheet. Where are you going? Out. What are you doing? Getting stuff. Abby. Yeah. Where are you going? To Portland. You better say it or you're not going. Well, I'm going to Portland. You asked where I'm going. What are you going to do? I'm going to get something done. What? What? Get a little pokey pokey. What? It's called a Medusa piercing. What is it? It's a piercing right here. You're going to get a new piercing? Yeah. And if I chicken out, you can't use this. <laughs> you're not going to chicken out. Look at your face. Look at all those piercings already. I know. All right. We're going to look at it when you get back. Well, you guys heard it. Abby's going to get a new piercing. It's uh, right here, middle, top lip. It's called a Medusa. It's not the official name, but uh, she's going to do that. Um, and it is completely dead today. <laughs> um, we've maybe had four or five people in so far, you know, one couple did come in, they bought a big stack of Wii games and like an extra controller and stuff. Um, another guy bought a couple N64 games and some VHS. So it's not, it's not like we haven't had any customers and sales are all right. Um, but I think we're gonna be closing early today. Normally we're closed on Wednesdays anyway. The only reason we're even open is because I, I thought 
people are getting new systems for Christmas, they're gonna wanna get new games, more controllers, stuff like that. And it seems like it, I mean, maybe they, maybe they do, maybe they don't, but they're not coming here for them. So um, I think we're gonna close early, probably at five. It's 2.30 right now. So Abby should be back in like an hour. Um, and then just, we're just gonna see how it goes until then. Um, I've posted on Facebook and stuff that we're open today, uh, but I might revise that and just be like, hey guys, you know, it's, it's really slow today. Uh, we have some more stuff to take care of at home um, after Christmas, so we're gonna be closing early at five and then be open again tomorrow for regular business hours. Um, I really want to film that pickup video today, um, tonight after we close, and if we close at five, then it gives me way more time to work on it. And the pickup video doesn't take the time, it's it's organizing and putting everything away after it's filmed. That takes forever. So if we close a little bit early, it'll definitely give me some time to do that, which would be nice. So, and then I wanna film a new room tour for you guys for 2019. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about it. Um, I haven't shown the game room in the vlogs in quite some time, aside from like the past few days. Um, and people, there's a lot of people who are new to, new to the channel who are like, whoa, I didn't know you had a big game room. You know, wh where's the room tour? Um, and my last one was November or December of 2017. So it's been a year already, and there are some major things that have changed that were not there during the last room tour. Um, I think the, the PS2 cabinet and maybe even the PS1 kiosk were not in there last year. So I want to redo that, and if we close early today, it's going to give me the time to do it. Since it's pretty slow today, I thought that I would show you guys something that a couple people have asked for, and I've shown this before, but I wanted to do it again just for those who are new. So this is our disc resurfacing machine. This is called the RTI Eco Auto Smart. Um, you can see on the front there. And the company's RTI, this is the Eco Auto Smart. Uh, basically, we put a disc in here. It's a little dirty, but um, it's got the four different pads here and it has five different settings and it'll go through and it'll buff the game out and take the scratches out. So a couple of you guys have asked to see it working or see what it can do. As I was filming there, a uh, couple customers walked in, but I'll show you one of them traded some stuff in. I'll show you guys that here in a minute. But, um, so I grabbed this Xbox 360 game Chrome Hounds. This is just a loose disc that was down here on all these little things. So this looks like it's been resurfaced before by like a cheaper machine. Hopefully you guys can see like all the the circular scuffing that's on there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this key here and see if I can set my phone up somewhere where you guys will still be able to see what I'm doing. All right. So, there it is. I'm gonna take this key. We're gonna scratch the crap out of this. And then we're gonna resurface it. And we're gonna check it out afterwards. So, there are some lovely scratches, <laughs> as you can see. And then, just for good measure, because you might be able to argue that I could wipe some of those off, but what if we come out here to this newly concreted thing and we just scratch up our game here? Oh yeah. <laughs> so now check it out. <laughs> that looks real, real bad. It's a little dusty now. Some some, what is that, concrete dust on it. So I'll put that back here. I'm gonna grab this. I'm just gonna wipe off the dust, which is making me gasp for air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks so bad. Okay, so here is our game. I don't care if it doesn't work afterwards, because it's, I mean, cheap game so that's what it looks like so take a look at it it's terrible we're going to put it in here 
and then we're gonna close it. Since the scratches are really bad, we're gonna do this on a level five. So we just hit number five, and it's gonna go through. It's gonna take about five minutes or so to cycle through every every stage here. Since I hit number five, which is the 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 setting for the deepest scratches. It's gonna go through level five, then four, three, two, one, and then once it pops open, it is completely done. And then we will take a look at it when it's done so you guys can see the difference. So while we are waiting for that disc, let's take a look at the games that were just traded in. We have a disc only Crash Team Racing, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, Crash Bandicoot 2, Parasite Eve. Uh, this is just discs one and two and the manual. Uh, no case for that one. And then Xenosaga Episode 1, our second copy of the day. What are the chances of that? So this thing just popped open, so the disc is done. Let's take a look. There's going to be a little bit of residue on the front side, which we just usually wipe off with the towel there. I'm just rubbing it on my shirt right now. So here's the game. Here's what it looks like now. You can see there's still some scratches on there because I did mess it up pretty bad. Um, so what I would do is just run this through a second time which I will do, but you can see, I mean, look at the rest of it. Those were some deep scratches right there. Um, whoa. So what I'm gonna do is put it through again on a level five. And I don't know how many times you can resurface a disc on the highest level, but we had a PS2 game that was so deeply scratched. Um, it was a Jack X combat racing. We ran it on a level five, four or five times to get the scratch out and then it worked perfectly. So I'm gonna do this one on a five again and then show you the end result. Just finished again, guys. Let's take one final look. So you can see there's still some faint scratches there. If I run it one more time, those will come out. I'm not going to, cause it's kind of a waste of the, the supplies right now. Cause this isn't even a game we're putting out for sale. It's just going right back here. That was just to demonstrate uh, but yeah you can see it took out all those scratches so this machine is super awesome um, I used to have a JFJ easy pro resurfacing machine that was like 200 bucks or whatever I would never go back to anything like that after using one of these I don't have to change the pads in between each cycle I don't have to put solution on the disc by myself that is all automatic with this machine which is super awesome and I couldn't recommend another method of resurfacing discs more than this right here. We are closing early, guys. It's like 5.18, and we've had like 12 people in today. We did hit the sales goal, which is cool, but um, it's just way too slow. We have some stuff to take care of, but Abby got her piercing. No, I chickened out, guys. So we're going to show you. Hi, Abby. Hi. Your septum is not straight, but there it is. Let me see if... Stop moving. Hmm. I'm trying to... It's like a little pearly color. Yeah. I'm trying to zoom in and see, but it's kind of hard with my phone. I just filmed my next pickup video, guys, and here is the damage. <laughs> There's all that. There's also all these. So now I have the awesome task of going through reorganizing the entire game room to fit all this new stuff. It sounds like a pain, but it's actually one of my most favorite parts about having my YouTube channel and collecting is because I get to rearrange the game room all the time to fit new stuff on the shelves. And it, I don't know, it just, it's fun for me. I like organizing it all. I like moving stuff around and changing the way that it looks. I just did this. This shelf was up one more little peg and I couldn't fit that row on top. So I couldn't, I didn't have room for these. And I just had to add those two. So I moved the shelf down one to make room for that. And then I had to take the shelf out that was here and just stack this stuff on top of the other stuff there. But I think it worked out pretty good. And I got all the N64 controllers on there. So I've been working on getting some stuff put away. As you can see, I have Game Boy and then Nintendo Powers left and PS1. But this pile of stuff here is stuff that I've decided to get rid of. So most of this is gonna go to the store and be sold there. A couple of the items will, will be posted on eBay eventually. Um, but like I said, that's all stuff I'm getting rid of. The biggest thing is the Commodore. It's a computer. 
It's not a video game system. Yes, you can play games on it, but it's not a system. It is a computer, and I can't branch off into collecting computer stuff. <laughs> um, I had a computer growing up that I played some games on. I played Duke Nukem on it and stuff, but I don't really have an attachment to it, so it's got to go. Um, a lot of these board games and stuff, they're game-related, but they're not great. Like Minecraft card game and Risk Battlefield, like this stuff just needs to go. Um, but it gave me a lot of room, so I did some rearranging on this here. As you can see, I have some games here now. I was able to fit some of the systems in there. So I've got the 7800 and PS1 long box, and then the two like collector's edition PlayStation 1 games. Then the 3DO and some big box stuff there. Then I got all the Atari 2600 right there. And then I have the Sega Pico and Intellivision and Odyssey 2 up there. As you can see, everything is way more compacted <laughs> to make room. Um, all the Wii U accessories and all sorts of stuff. But it's completely packed in. And I think it looks a lot better. I really didn't... Like, I didn't like this the way that this wall looked. This is my least favorite part of the game room was this wall. Um, it still is, but I think it looks a lot better with the games on it. Um, so, the Atari games came from this shelf here, which, as you can see, I have my... I put the original Game Boy games on the first shelf and a half there, separating them from the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance, which were right up here because I have all these to put away, and they're not going to fit. So I decided to separate Game Boy from the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. I might separate the Game Boy Color as well and just have that whole thing be Game Boy Advance if I can make room. So we'll see what happens, but it's time for us to get to bed.